The read and publish agreements from the Company of Biologists have been gaining a lot of attention. Um, so I'm here to tell you a little bit more about it and also to speak with our commercial manager, Richard Grove. Um, so the read and publish agreements are available to single libraries and also to consortia. And they essentially have two components, the read and the publish components. So in terms of the read component, um, the library and the institution get full access to our content, including archive content, um, in a similar way to um, their subscription. And in the published component, um, it's a benefit for the authors at the institution who are able to publish an unlimited number of articles um, open access without having to pay an additional open access fee. And we know that some commercial publishers have limited the number of um, open access articles that authors can publish in this way, but we decided to go for unlimited numbers um, to be more generous on this arrangement. Pricing for read and publish agreements is transparent and cost neutral. It's calculated on the basis of current subscription spend, whether that's to one, two or all three of our hybrid journals, plus the average annual APC spend, if any, over the past three years. The total read and publish price covers uncapped fee free open access publishing for research articles in all three of our hybrid journals, as well as unlimited access to the journal content and their archives, even if a library previously subscribed to just one or two of the journals. So obviously this is a good deal for librarians. Um, so Richard, uh, how easy is it for a librarian to transfer from having a subscription to having a read and publish arrangement? It is very, very simple. It, it is literally just the signature on the, either an addendum or, or a new license. And even if the librarian has already paid via an agent or they pay directly or the payment is in the pipeline, we can still reallocate that payment to read and publish from their standard subscription. So we know that there are benefits to authors of publishing open access. Um, we know that their articles are more widely read and disseminated. Are there some additional benefits for the librarians? Absolutely, there are, are, are additional benefits for the librarians, the libraries and the researchers. Um, for example, if you uh, took one of our subscribers who only took one of our journals on subscription, they would automatically get access to our other two hybrid journals and again that's full content full access full archive and we hope that as a not-for-profit publisher librarians will be less skeptical about a read and publish arrangement with us so what sort of feedback have you had from the librarians we've had an amazing feedback uh, actually because as you say the librarians are quite skeptical of the large commercial publishers and are looking for for, for the the small print but with us, there is absolutely no catch. It is just a fantastic value for the money offer. Um, and I even had one librarian a few weeks ago who commented, this is too good to be true. But it isn't too good to be true because it's actually real. <laughs> it is absolutely real. And that librarian managed to gain, uh, well, triple their content in that subject area. That's really fantastic news. OK, so thank you. So this is obviously a really good arrangement for librarians. And in terms of the journals, it also helps us on our path towards full open access. So we encourage librarians to get in touch with us and we look forward to a bright and open future. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you.